स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स चैप्टर नाइन डिरेक्ट प्रपोशन एंड इनवर्स प्रपोशन प्रैक्टिस सेट थर्टी सेवन लेट्स डिस्कस डायरेक्ट प्रपोशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू कंपेयर टू नंबर्स एंड राइट डेम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ रेशो फॉर एग्जाम्पल द नंबर ऑफ नोटबुक्स दैट द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल रिसीव्ड is shown in the table below 15 children received 90 books 12 children 72 notebooks 10 children 60 notebooks and 5 children 30 notebooks if we write it in the form of ratio you will write number of children upon number of notebooks which is equal to 15 upon 90 12 upon 72 Ten upon sixty, five upon thirty. Now, if we reduce these ratios, we will get the answer as one upon six. That's why they are shown as equal because each ratio comes down to one upon six. In other words, the ratio one is to six remains the same or constant. So, as the number of children decreases the number of notebooks also decrease so the number of students and the number of notebooks are in direct proportion so what is direct proportion if one quantity is increasing the other will also increase if one quantity is decreasing one ratio is decreasing the other ratio will also decrease so this way we get the proportion to be in direct proportion so in this chapter we will solve practice set 37 which is based on direct proportion question number 1 if 7 kg onions cost 140 rupees how much must we pay for 12 kg onions so now we have got to find out how much we have to pay for 12 kg onions so our first step will be we'll have to assume it to be x so see the answer let us suppose the cost of 12 kg onions is x rupees now tell me students if 7 kg require 140 rupees 12 kg will require more than 140 or less than 140 yes definitely the cost will also increase so both the ratios are increasing quantities are increasing that means we have a direct proportion here so you have to write this statement here the number of onions and their cost vary in direct proportion when can we say that they are varying in direct proportion when the quantity are increasing in both the ratios or decreasing in both the ratios it's not like one is increasing and other is decreasing no we see that 7 kg onions 140 rupees 12 kg onions means more onions will cost more rupees more onions more rupees increasing both so they are in direct proportion now it's the time to form a equation 7 kg onions cost 140 rupees so we take 7 upon 140 is equal to now next to the kg unit we will have another unit which is in kg that means weight of onions will be compared with weight of onions next to it so along with 7 kg we have 12 kg onions so 7 upon 140 rupees is equal to 12 upon the cost which we have assumed to be x so 12 upon x so we got a equation form 7 kg onions upon 140 rupees is equal to 12 kg onions upon x rupees now in order to find out the value of x we will have to multiply and divide so x is equal to cross multiply 140 by 12 you write 12 into 140 upon 7 now you will have to do your working 140 we have to divide by 7 it is easily divisible 7 2s are 
and 10 remains that means 7 20s are 140 12 into 20 that means 12 2s are 24 and 10 makes it 240 so you got your final answer as 240 rupees so what is this 240 rupees the value of x and what is x x is the cost of 12 kg onions which we have assumed in the first statement so write your final answer hence the cost of 12 kg onions is 240 rupees so what have we done in this sum here we have assumed the missing part to be x that is the cost of 12 kg onions then we have written a statement that the quantities vary in direct proportion then we have written them in the proportion 7 upon 140 is equal to 12 upon x and we have worked it out by cross multiplying so this way you have to write your steps and then the final answer in statement so all the sums you will be doing in the similar steps so kindly try to understand as we proceed further question 2 if 600 rupees buy 15 bunches of feed how many will 1280 rupees buy now we don't know how much will 80, 1280 rupees buy so we have to assume it to be x so your answer let us suppose x bunches of feed can buy can be bought in 1280 rupees the number of bunches of feed and their cost vary in direct proportion. This is a common statement that we have to show that they are in direct proportion. Why? Because in 600 rupees if we can get 15 bunches, then in 1280 we will get more bunches of feed. So direct proportion, both are in increasing order. Therefore, 16 upon, sorry, 15 upon 600 is equal to x upon 1280 15 is the number of bunches of feed and x also is number of bunches of feed hence you can see them next to each other and below is the cost for 15 bunches 600 for x bunches 1280 that's how we form our equation with equal to sign in between we show them in direct proportion now to find the value of x we cross multiply 15 into 1280 upon 600 you have to do the working and you get your final answer 32 hence 32 bunches of feed can be bought in 1280 rupees so you saw as the cost increased the number of bunches of feed also increased which tells us that it is in direct proportion so whenever the quantities both quantities are increasing or both quantities are decreasing then we can say they are in direct proportion question 3 for 9 cows 13 kg 500 gram of food supplement are required every day in the same proportion how much will be needed for 12 cows so if 9 cows needs 13 kg 500 gram 12 cows will need even more so increasing order which tells us it is in direct proportion so how much will be needed for 12 cows let us assume it to be x so your answer let us suppose x kg of food supplement is required for 12 cows the quantity of food supplement and the number of cows vary in direct proportion therefore now time to form the equation 9 cows upon 13.5 kg we take 13 gram 13 kg 500 gram to be 13.5 kg is equal to 12 cows upon x kg we don't know how much kg 12 cows will require now by cross multiplication you write down x is equal to 12 into 13.5 upon 9 so now find the value x is equal to 18 kg what is x x is the amount of food supplement required for 12 cows so you write hence 18 kg of food supplement required for 12 cows fourth question the cost of 12 quintals of soya bean is 36,000 rupees 
how much will eight quintals cost now let's have a look at the answer let us suppose the cost of eight quintals of soybean is x rupees we don't know how much eight quintals will cost so we take it to be x rupees now 12 quintals cost is 36,000 rupees. So, 8 quintals is less than 12. Will the cost increase or decrease for less quintals? It will decrease. That means both quantities are decreasing. When both are increasing or both are decreasing, we say they are in direct proportion. So, you write your statement. The quantity of soybeans and the cost vary in direct proportion. Now, take the ratio. 12 upon 36,000. 1 0 is missing here for 36,000. So, kindly write it down. So, 12 upon 36,000 here. 1 0 will be there. Is equal to 8 upon x. Now, cross multiply x into 12 is equal to 36,000 into 8. x is equal to 8 into 36,000 upon 12 is how you get it. Now, 12 threes are 36 and 3 more zeros. Here also one zero is missing. You have to add it. 36,000. So 12 three thousands are 36. 3,000 into 8. 8 threes are 24. 24,000 rupees is your final answer. Hence the cost of 8 quintals of soya bin is 24,000 rupees. Okay. Kindly add the zero wherever required. Next to 36,000 year. Okay. Year 10 and year 10 will be extra. It's come as 3600. It should be 36,000. Next question number 5. Two mobiles cost 16,000 rupees. How much money will be required to buy 13 such mobiles? Now. First statement, let us suppose the cost of 13 mobiles is x rupees. The number of mobiles and the cost are in direct proportion. Two mobiles cost 16,000. So, 13 will have more rupees. So, direct, both are increasing. So, we have the equation form 2 upon 16,000 is equal to 13 upon x. Arrange it. You get x is equal to this 13 you multiply by 16. Cross multiply. So 13 into 16,000 divided by this 2 comes down. Is equal to 1 lakh 4,000 rupees. 2 eights are 16, 0, 0. And 13 into 8,000 is 1 lakh 4,000 rupees. Hence the cost of 13 mobiles is 1 lakh 4,000 rupees. So this way we have completed our practice set 37. Do practice the sums well. Write down them in your book. Stay safe. Keep learning. And thank you.